show you how you can create a web mix uh, of your class so that when you click on the picture of the student, it will take you to an individual web mix designed especially for that child with tiles within that web mix that are differentiated that meets that specific student's needs. These tiles are linked to the student's blog post or maybe samples of his work that I've uploaded in Google Docs or maybe a bogey that they created with the message to the parent. But this web mix right here can be shared privately with the parent so that they can access it from any smartphone or, or iTouch or any iDevice. Um, I'm going to show you how to make one of those. First, you'll need to start with, by um, screenshotting these tiles. I am going to screenshot an exact, I want my tiles to be 4 by 3, I mean sorry, 4 by 2. And after I get that screenshot, then I'm going to go in and I am going, this is on a MacBook, and if you go into your toolbar and choose Instant Alpha, then you can just drag, select that inside, and then hit Delete. And drag and select the inside and hit Delete. What that will ultimately do is it will give you an image like this, where you can see through the, um, the frames for the tiles. Alright, so now, now I'm just in Keynote, and what I've done is I've gone, this is, this is the screenshot that I just did. It's just a little window frame of the tiles that I'm going to use. Okay, so I go into um, Shapes, and I'm going to insert a shape. Go to my inspector, and I'm going to fill that color. I'll, I'll take pink since it's already on pink. And I stretch that text box as big as I need it to be. I drag my tile. Let me bring it to the front. I drag drag my tile right here to the center so that it's all covered. And then I just insert text. I can type whatever I want. Um, we'll type a uh, ready to do benchmarks, so I'll just type in benchmark. And I'm going to enlarge my font a little bit so that it be enough of it that fits into each tile. Okay, so once I get it in there like that, like I want it, then I just screenshot straight into Pick Slice. PickSlice.com. And from here you can upload your picture and you can choose how many tiles you want it to be uh, divided up into. And then when you get ready to add the background for your tile, you just choose whichever tile that you want. Tile 1, tile 2. In this case, I have 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And that's